As far as the nudity goes, we're yes. keeping full nude. Yes. <laughs> that, was, that, that was our April Fool's joke for the last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were, we were just playing a really, really <laughs> sick joke, you know? We thought, hey, let's uh, take the nudity out for a year and then bring it back around April, so. Oh, okay. It was funny, right? It was a good, it was funny. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're keeping the full nude. That's yeah. staying the same. Okay. Many people will probably be very happy to hear that. Uh, I've, I've already gotten tons and tons of letters. <laughs> Um, you know, you had a show on E! for a long time, Girl Next Door, had a great relationship with um, Holly and Kendra, and they talk really highly of Hugh. Do you, does Hugh still talk with them? Yeah, Kendra pops by the house every so often and uh, visits. She's lovely. Um, I mean, all of those women were a part of the brand and, and uh, you know, remain a part of the family as much as they want to. Um, there's been a lot of rumors about your dad's health. Is there anything you'd like to set the record straight with? How is he doing? Uh, he's doing fine. Uh, my dad okay. has always made the joke that if uh, the mansion was your house, why would you want to leave? <laughs> I, I think I think because he has stepped back from the day-to-day -day operations of the business, people have thought that uh, his health was not very good. But uh, the reality is, he has a really bad back. That happens when yeah. you're 90, of course. and uh, he is enjoying uh, life at the mansion. Okay, good. What's his day-to-day -day like? His friends still come over and watch movies. Uh, everyone gets together for dinners. Uh, they still do manly night Mondays and manly Friday and Mondays. Saturday and Sunday. Uh, everyone gets together. Tonight we'll, we'll do a, a premiere a screening of the first episode. So he'll attend and we'll all celebrate together the launch of that this weekend. I kind of want to get a grasp on what he's feeling. Is he excited about this series coming out? Is he nervous? Is he a little bit of both? Is no, he's excited. I mean, the remarkable thing about the show is it really is a warts and all story. Um, it really covers a whole lot of uh, topics throughout his life from being addicted to Dexedrin to um, the loss of a lot of people that he loved, um, the fight to normalize sexual values in the U.S. Uh, so it's a real up and down uh, and, and really authentic story of, of his life and I think that was really important for him to tell. And it seems like he has such a great relationship with anybody who he's had a relationship with. Was there any backlash from anyone that said, like, don't you dare put me in there? I don't want people knowing I was there. Or... No, I mean, that's one of the special things about the house is that for years it did protect people's anonymity and uh, it continues to. But um, I think my dad lived a sort of life of, uh, you know, be a part of this experience and be a part of this brand. And uh, in return, you get to be a part of my narrative yeah <laughs> and uh that was just sort of trade-off and no we we didn't hear from anyone who was saying i don't want to be a part of this okay good